Hello everyone. So I have started making videos on LWC components to share some tips and tricks with you. And this has been a major request from most of you guys. So I have started creating a series of LWC components where I will give you interesting facts about LWC and help you create multiple components, build customized screens and use the power of lightning web components. So today, starting today, I'll be sharing with you about the information about the toast message feature in LWC component. So if you see there is a button upon clicking on which there is a toast message that comes up. Not only this, there is a link on the toast message as well. If you click on this link, it will navigate you to a new tab. So how you can implement this feature in Salesforce using LWC? I'll be showing you step by step all the steps basically needed to build this functionality. And I will also help you know how you can embed this link inside the toast message and what other types of toast messages are there in the supported in the LWC component. So this is my demo or I will go to a separate or where I will build this from scratch where you will get to know about how this can be leveraged. So this is my separate or and uh, I'll be using my uh, Salesforce advanced course searcher Chrome extension to uh, build my LWC component directly in my Salesforce or using this feature of this extension. If you don't know about this extension and how to utilize this or install in your Chrome browser, do watch my previous video where I gave the entire information about this Chrome extension. This is very helpful as it will help you create the lightning web components strictly in your Salesforce or without needing the use of VS code or any third party tool for writing the code. Okay, so I'll expand this particular editor and then here only I will create a new LWC component to build my toast message feature. Let's create one. Let's name it as toast message. And this is nothing but creating the meta XML file of this LWC component. Make it as is exposed and where do I want to use it? Set the target as home page. So I will use this LWC component in my home page. So this is setting up the basically the meta XML file of LWC component. Let's create it. And here I will see all those. I mean the structure of this LWC component. So if you see the meta XML file, this is nothing but whatever we choose. The target will be home page and it is exposed as, as true so that it can be used. So first of all, I'll build the HTML part of this particular feature where I will just include one button upon clicking on which my toast message should fire or appear. So let's create a lightning button. So this will be a very simple code. You just need to follow. We'll give the label of this button as so show success toast. Cool. Let's keep the variant of this button as success so that it appears in the green color. And what should happen upon clicking on this button? So I will call one JavaScript method from here. We'll open this Java file here only. Okay. So I will create that method going forward show toast handler. This should be the method that should fire upon clicking on this button. Okay. Let's close this button lightning button tag and save this. It is saved. Okay. So we are only including one cut one button lightning button, which will have this label and appear in the green color upon clicking on which this method will fire. Let's go to our JS file now. First of all, we have to import one very important element here to be able to use the toast message feature. What it is? Let me show you import show toast event. And from where do we want to import it? It should be inside lightning slash platform show toast event. This is the name of the directory lightning slash platform show toast event where this feature needs to be imported. Okay, we'll use this in our method here. So we have to call use the I mean define this method, whatever we are calling upon clicking on that button. Here it is. Inside this method, what we'll do is we'll create the instance of this event instance is nothing but the creation of the object initializing it so we'll create a constant variable 
and make create an instance of this particular event we are creating an instance of it and inside that we will define all the parameters that are needed so this is nothing but the object of my of my show toast event inside which i will be passing all the details of the toast event that will appear on the screen so let's give the title as salesforce success and the message just beneath the title there will be a message this is a success toast and the next uh, parameter can be like variant what should be the color of that toast message is it like green black or gray or red based on the type of message you are displaying for since this is a success message we'll show in the green color so let me make it as variant as success then after creating the instance of that event we have to dispatch that event okay so this dot dispatch event inside that we'll pass the object name of that event which is nothing but evt this is the event object we created for this particular event and we are just dispatching it over here let's save this one now we will quickly go to our home page lightning home page and add this component into our here into our lightning page home page and we should be able to see that button upon clicking on which the toast message should appear we'll search for our lwc component which is here let's drag it over here and save it should be saved now let's click on this short success toast message so here is the toast message appearing here so this is nothing but the title beneath that is the message and the color of this toast message is green because the variant was success now let's see how you can include the link inside that toast message so for that you have to add another parameter which is nothing but message data this is an array this is an array attribute so it should be inside this parent parameters and uh, then let's create an uh, basically url inside it which which should be inside the object tags so inside this particular message data array i will add url let's add the url as sales login.salesforce.com here it is and what should be the label of this url let's make it as here okay now how will you use this url inside your message that is appearing in the toast so this is nothing but if you just define the index of that rms array attribute so this is the array attribute inside this this is the first parameter i mean the first index okay so if i just make it here so zero index means inside this array attribute whatever is there in the zero index just bring it and paste it over here so this will be written as here and it will contain the url as this one let's save this what is the error message data okay why there are two okay here should be a comma because i am adding an additional attribute so yeah let's go and check this out click here i have to refresh this once okay here it is click here if i click on this it will take me to the login.salesforce.com so let me just reiterate this once again i will show you once again a click here and it will take me here so what is happening is see this message data is the array array attribute and inside this we declare certain uh, sub attributes as well so let me add one more salesforce cool so this is my first attribute now this is my second attribute this is inside the curly braces because this it's an object not a single string but an object which contains the label and the url now 
this becomes my first element and this becomes my second element so if i just to utilize this in such a way first element is my salesforce text and second element or the first end so first element is now my this text salesforce separated by comma this is my second element which can be retrieved via index one let me save this and now you will see something different oh no let's refresh this so you see okay need to refresh this again first element see salesforce and second element is my url now you will be able to understand what is the purpose of this array attribute it contains the list of data which can be used via index number so first element contains my contains the word salesforce while the second element contains the object which is the url with a label called here so i am accessing that via index number whatever you mention inside this message data attribute can be accessed in the message attribute here with the index number see i just wrote first element then zero second element then one and it has automatically taken the data from the message data first element is salesforce second element is the link got it now what we will do is we will create different types of toast messages what are the different types of toast messages i will show you the other type as well let's create an error toast message this let's make it as dangerous destructive so that it appears in the red color this button show error handler okay we'll create this method as well Hmm. okay now again what we'll do is we'll just create the instance of that toast message this time we'll just change we'll not put this link anymore let's remove this message data attribute and yeah we'll this time we'll change the messages there has been And we'll keep the variant as error so that the entire toast message comes as a red comes in the form of red color. Let's so there's there should be a second button now which will contain this label show error toast upon clicking on which this method will fire. And what this method is doing, it is doing nothing but creating the instance of show toast event and giving the title as Salesforce error message as there has been an error error and variant as error so that it appears in the black color let's refresh once more see there is a second button now let's mm -hmm. click on it here it is the entire toast message is in the red color and whatever data we provided as title and message is coming up here similarly there are other different types of toast messages that uh, i can show you if you request for it then yeah this is all i wanted to show in this video I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.